Mi gente, this is Josue in Mango Man coming to you with another video. In today's video, we are in El Parque de Julia de Burgos, located in Villa Carolina in Carolina, Puerto Rico. Julia de Burgos Park. Who was Julia de Burgos? Well, Julia de Burgos was a famous poet that came out of this region, and she later in her life moved to the U.S., where she would then write a handful of poems that would leave her basically in history. She's a highly regarded poet in society. She studied in universities and just held to a very high regard in general. What's nice about this park is that they have her statue in the middle and then surrounding her statues are stations with her different famous poems that you can read. Because he has a nice sunny day out. It's a beautiful sunny day. This is actually a river over here. And this is the rest of the park. It's really nice. Got the trees. This is actually in really good shape today, too. They trimmed it. They trimmed the grass and the bushes. Because before it was like the nature was almost taking the park over again. I like it over here because it's just really calm. You can relax, sit on the bench and just chill out. And it just, it reminds me of like a little mini New York Central Park. It's just really nice and quiet. And I enjoy it a lot. You can walk on the grass here. Everything is very well kept. It's really nice. Only thing you gotta worry about is iguanas. This is one iguana. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. It's scared of me, but it's huge. Let me see if I can get a shot for you guys. There goes the Iwana. It's scared of me. Don't worry, Iwana. I'm not going to hit you. Iwana, don't worry. I'm not going to eat you. I come in peace. Relax. Relax. It's okay, Iwana. I'm not going to do anything, baby. Guys, that Iwana was huge. That Iwana had to be at least three and a half feet long. Maybe four. That Iwana was scared of me. But if it knew it's worth and started coming at me, oof, I would have been out of here. That iguana was huge. You don't know how nice it is to get this fresh air. So you got the trees and the grass. Like I told you, there's a river over there. So nice. So nice. Oh wow, so they covered it up. Oh wow. I'm gonna show you guys real quick what it looks like. As you guys can see, it says Viva Carolina, Proyecto en Construcción. So before, this wasn't here, before this little piece here, this was not here at all. Wow. And on the construction, so that's pretty nice. They may be fixing it up. So I don't know, maybe they're gonna fix it up. If they do, I'll come back and I'll show you guys the finished result. But before they put this thing here that says Viva Carolina, you were able to see the whole um, memorial for Julia Burgos. And apparently her burial is like in the middle. It's like a big open space with empty pools. And right in the middle of the space with the pools around it was like her burial site. So it's pretty interesting to see. Um, a little unfortunate. I didn't know that they were doing this, but it's also good because then that means we can come back and show you guys the finished product. But I'm going to still walk around because the park is still pretty big so we can check it out. She's speaking about one of my favorite places here in Puerto Rico. So 
I didn't realize that she... <laughs> I didn't realize that she's speaking about one of my favorite places in Puerto Rico and apparently this was her favorite place as well here on the island. So let's see, now we're walking around the memorial. This is still her park, of course, but we're walking around now. I'm gonna see if you can peek in from the side because I remember, oh no, over here as well. Wow, Proyecto en Construcción. I wonder what they're gonna do. There's a little staircase. Let's see where this goes. Hopefully there's no iguanas. Oh no, they boarded it up. Wow, they're about to do something. I gotta be honest, I'm actually pretty happy that they boarded up a lot of these things and they're gonna be working on this park because that means that maybe they're gonna try to restore it because I came here the last time and everything looks so abandoned. This whole park was abandoned. It had graffiti and garbage. The bushes were growing out of control. So I just thought, wow, you know, it's pretty unfortunate because it's such a beautiful park. But now I'm seeing that they're actually trying to fix it up, so. I'm excited to see what they do. So this is the other side of the memorial. I don't know if you can see, but that's one of the pools that I was talking about, one of the empty pools. That one has some water in it, but that's just rainwater. Very clean, very clean, very well kept, very nice. Very nice. I love the benches. Some people might look at the benches and say, no, but those are dirty, those are, needs a paint job. Yeah, they do, but it's still nice. I enjoy them, they look very nice to me. Look at this little area. I don't know why I picture people like dancing here, you know? I picture people dancing here. I'm a musician. So I could see like a band playing at the corner and people just dancing right over here. Or even like b-boys if you were like a break dancer. I feel like you would enjoy this spot right here. So this here, I believe, was like a little amphitheater kind of thing. This is where the park starts to get really abandoned. So this is why I wonder if something happened here in the past, you know? Or if this was like during Hurricane Maria or something like that. I don't know what happened here. It's a little creepy because it says that you need a mask to enter. So I guess there's people that still go in there, but it's just abandoned looking. Hey, look, a little friend. Hey, buddy. Oh, he got scared. Don't worry, brother. <laughs> and that's how you know that a lot of people don't really come through these parts because the Iguana was scared for his life. The cat was scared for his life, you know? Look, there's spider webs everywhere. So yeah, this was like a little, a little amphitheater. Again, if there's anybody from Carolina watching, if there's anybody from Carolina, or just Puerto Rico and you know about Carolina, do you know what happened here in this park? In the Parque de Guria de Burba? You know why this park here is so abandoned? Was it because of Maria? Was it because of Hurricane Maria? Or was it lack of funding, you know? 
and it's a really nice park there's, there's another building over there that's really 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 abandoned and i really don't know what happened there there's a little school across the street they have a good basketball team they play in the gym so yeah let's just keep it moving I'm gonna show you guys the next building before it gets too dark. Just walking down the steps. Okay, so this is the building that I don't know what the heck this was. And I also don't know what happened here. But what's interesting is that they're still mowing the lawns. The last time I came here, the lawn was not mowed, so I don't know if they just do general upkeep, maybe once every other month or something, or if they're trying to restore it. But what's interesting is that it's all chained up. If you look at the windows upstairs, they're shattered. It looks like there was something here. I don't know what it was, but there was something here. And there's a random, there's a random yin yang right there. I don't know what this was, you guys. I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys, all right? Just what it looks like. I'm gonna try to do it quickly because this looks really abandoned. I don't wanna get in trouble. Sometimes spots have like silent alarms. Okay. So let's read what it says. This is... Let's just look around first. Yeah, I don't see any cameras or anything. Guys, what the hell happened here? What was this place? Guys, I don't know what the hell this place was. I don't know what happened here. It says OSIB, OSIB, Oficina de Sistemas Bibliotecarios. Oficina de Sistema Bibliotecarios. So, so this was like a, maybe this has something to do like with the library system here. Gobierno Municipal Autónomo de Carolina. Jose Carlos Aponte. Wow. Yeah, something with the Department of Education of Carolina. Apparently this building behind us had something to do with like the library systems for the Department of Education and the libraries. And look, it's destroyed, clearly. So I don't know if me not being able to find libraries and this being closed down, if they have a link. Again, mi gente de Carolina, if, if you guys know what happened here, especially at this park, please let me know. Leave it in the comments and maybe I can even speak to you and make a video out of it so we can educate the people, you know, because I, I, I love Carolina. I love the green spaces here, but when I see stuff like this, I get confused and I wonder, I wonder what happened here, you know? Still beautiful nonetheless, but wow. So what's, what's really nice about this is that you get a nice view. So this is over here, this is Via Carolina. And then if you go over here, that's El Junque in the background. All of that is El Junque. You can see a real nice from up here. That's all El Junque over there, you see? Beautiful. Yeah guys, so again, beautiful park here in Carolina to commemorate the life of the great poet, Julia de Burgos, Puerto Rican poet from Carolina. 
such a beautiful park so serene and it's also just amazing that it's february and i'm here in shorts and a tank top walking through the park on a sunny day such a blessing such a blessing i'm not puerto rican but i'm grateful to puerto rico for this opportunity to be here i'm grateful to the people to god of course and i'm grateful to the people for have received me well and for the love that they've shown me and just to, to the land especially to be able to live on this beautiful island this beautiful land so if anyone knows the name of this tree i will give you a special shout out It's so beautiful. It looks almost as if they were painted, right? But no, they're not. They have these trees all over the Caribbean, especially here in Puerto Rico. They're beautiful. If you know the name, I'll give you a shout out. If you know the name of these trees, you really know your stuff. Look how beautiful they are. Look at the coloring on that. These are strong, strong, strong trees. Very strong. Yeah, guys, so the sun is setting pretty quickly. I gotta make it back to my car soon before it gets dark. Cause there's no real parking here to be honest. I had to park like far across the street and then walk all the way out here. And something interesting about these parks here in Carolina, a lot of times there's, there's only one way in and one way out. I don't know why they do that, but they lock up all the other like side exits and entrances and they only leave one entrance open i don't know why they do that but if you like to walk i think it'll be valuable to you it'll serve you if you like to walk because if you're dedicating yourself to do some exercise and to walk you can't cheat yourself out and try to escape once you're in once you walk all the way down into the park there's only one way out so you got to make the whole walk back just to leave so you really commit, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very informative. Again, I'm going to try to check back here at the park, like maybe within a month or two, and see if they finish the construction over in that, that memorial area where I was showing you guys. And if they finished, if they did any progress, I'll make another video so you guys can see what it looks like. But as always, thanks for watching the video if you liked it give me a like and subscribe and peace peace to you guys hope you guys are well Josue Mangomez signing out peace y'all